Hey guys, welcome back to eDoggy's Garage. We haven't posted a lot of content lately. We've been really busy with the regular job. We were able to get the rear end mocked up. We got some stuff welded on it. We've got the rear brace put on it. We've got the C-notches into the rear brace for the coilovers. We've got the filler bung put in it. We've got the axle tube shortened one inch on both sides. We've got the large bearing flanges indexed and in the axle tubes. We were able to put the new third member in, the new axles in, and we got all of our bare brake stuff put on there so that we can check for wheel size now. Because the whole reason why we wanted to shorten the rear end was we autocrossed this car and we felt like we didn't have enough tire under the car. So we're doing some work in the back, we're doing the Detroit Speed Aluma frame in the front, and hopefully it's going to help us to, to do a little bit of autocross a little bit better. Now the reason I'm here today is we're getting ready to go get our engine from Greg Brown down in Georgia from Hammerhead Performance. We're going to dyno the 427 Hemi small block for the Ford Mustang and we're going to pick up another engine that we had refreshed down there that came out of the Mustang, a 363-302. So we're going to bring some engine stands that we can put the engines on, put them in the back of the truck and uh, haul them home safely. We got those engine stands from RCR Metal Fab. So today we're going to unbox one of those stands and put it together for you and give RCR a little bit of a, a pump in the arm. So subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty of content coming up. We've got the Firebird that we're going to do the 461 Butler Performance motor in. Uh, we're going to add a four-speed Muncie to it. We're going to do a bunch of Detroit Speed stuff under it, kind of mess around with that. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. So subscribe and uh, let's get to putting that engine stand together. All right, here it is. This is one of our RCR Metal Fab engine stands. And when I say an engine stand, it's, a, it's basically for storage. It's gonna have caster wheels on it. They sit low to the ground. If you're gonna put an engine together, or let's say you just got a bare block with a rotating assembly in it, and you wanna keep from just putting it on a pallet or a roll around cart that it, you run the risk of it falling off of, these carts are perfect for anything or any need that you have for engine storage in your shop. So once we're done putting it together, you'll see how nice these are. So RCR Metal Fab, that's the people you want to call. We're going to get to the unboxing now. things came really packed very well so this stuff ain't going to be damaged when it shows up As you can see, plenty of protective packaging, packing material inside. Everything is plastic wrapped. All of the items are cardboard separated. We like our stuff to be pretty nice here. We like to keep the shop looking good, keeping everything clean, because it's amazing how that impresses people when they show up. And it makes them feel like wanting to do, you know, do things with you. So, the engine stands that we bought, we bought two, like I said. And you can get them with different quality casters. So, the 427 motor, we're going to put on the higher quality casters. The 363 is just a long block. So, this is the engine stand for the 363. This is the caster that's on it. And it's still a very good caster. This is the caster that the 427 is going to ride on. 
This is a really, really heavy duty caster, good wheels, brakes. So this is the one that the 427 motor is gonna go on. But like I say, you can get two different qualities of casters with these RCR engine stands. Everything is packaged nicely. Again, everything is wrapped very well with plastic. And again, all the way down to the last piece, plastic covered, everything's coated really well, very nicely protected. We had no shipping damage. We were very happy when this stuff showed up. All right, guys, as I mentioned, we bought two different engine stands. And when I say difference, the only difference in the two engine stands are the mounts for the casters and the casters that we bought. This one here is gonna have what we're gonna call the heavier engine, the one we're gonna move around a lot more. The other engine stand is basically gonna be for a storage long block of a small block Ford motor. So I'm gonna put this together in real time. I'm not gonna make any cuts in it and show you how easy these are to put together. The longest amount of time is gonna be involved unpackaging this stuff because Rich at RCR takes such care in uh, packaging this stuff so that it doesn't get tore up when it's being shipped to you. So here we go. Now, I did not pre-prep any of these parts. I just took the plastic off and then I just started putting it together. So all of the holes are clear of paint or in this case, powder coat. All of the hardware is zinc coated. The nuts are nylock nuts so that you don't have to worry about any kind of vibration. Like I say, we're gonna be bringing home a couple of engines from Georgia. We're gonna go through Charlotte on the way home so we don't have to worry about them vibrating apart. The heavier duty casters comes with two that are locks. They are both, or they are all four swivels. And those of you that have had two swivels and two straights on a cart know how difficult that can be sometimes to maneuver around a shop. So it's really handy to have two locks and four swivels. The other thing too is I called Rich because before I started putting it together, I uh, wanted to talk to him a little bit about some of his, those are heavy too. Some of his processes, he does MIG welding on site. He does powder coating. He also builds engine stands for all makes, whether you got a Hemi, whether you got an LS motor, a Ford, Chevy big block, 
He has engine stands for anything you need. And he also does some other products that you can find on his website. Some stuff that I would say would be a little bit more applicable for the professional engine builder. I chose to put my two locks on what would be the leading, the water pump into the engine. Because most of the time when we store engines, if we're gonna put them under some pallet racking or something, we will, we'll put them in bell housing first. So the locks will be sticking out so that you can get it underneath your pallet shelving and then lock it. And they're heavy duty. I mean, it, it's not like picking up one of these thin wall stands that you would buy at like your auto parts store or something like that. So that's it. The heavy duty casters, you saw how simple it was to put together. Plastic end caps and all of the open tubes. Everything's powder coated. Zinc hardware. Everything comes in bags. Make sure you give Rich a call. This is him right here. Rich at RCR Metal Fab. Everything's made in America. He's a really nice guy. Just give him a call. He answers the phone. If you need one of these engine stands, I would say it'd be a good choice. Okay, we got plenty of coming up on E-Doggy's Garage, so make sure you subscribe. Keep an eye out for, uh, we got lots of content that's already uh, kind of in the can. We just got to have time to put it together. See you later.